Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's taken me a while but I'm finally doing my self love vlog. Um, shit's been a bit crazy the last few weeks when I live at the World Cup with Love Island because I'm just I'm a, I'm a sob and I, just, I do love to watch that. And just general bits and pieces really like, yeah, life. <coughs> but, let's get down to it. So the first first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is accepting yourself and oh my god it took me so long to actually sit there and be happy with who I am like I still I still struggle from from day to day like we all do there's things that I'm insecure about there's things that have happened in my past where something that I'm doing will trigger it and it'll bring back bad memories and like bad feelings that I've had towards myself but learning to accept yourself is, wow, it's difficult. But it's possible. If you don't like something about you, like, you can change it. You have the power to change it. And I think a lot of people forget that the only person that can make you happy is you. Like, your happiness comes within. You can't seek for happiness with other people because you're never going to truly and contently be happy. When I was younger, I was a bit of a mad you, I won't lie. Um, slept around quite a lot because I love sex for one. Won't lie, who fucking doesn't, do you know what I mean? It's 2018, come on now. But also because I was just seeking, I was seeking that validation that I needed to, for me through other people. <laughs> I don't sleep around anymore. And if I it's a really, oh, it's, this is such a large topic and it's frightening to know that so many people don't actually love themselves because like I know you see people that are really cocky on Instagram and stuff and they seem like they're proper like up themselves and a lot of a lot of people are just overly confident like the guy I'm seeing now always tells me like how vain I am because I'll dish myself out of compliments left right and centre because damn right if I'm not going to compliment me I'm not going to wait for someone else to compliment me do you know what I mean like I need to be happy with me I need to to make sure that I see the beauty in me, whether other people see it or not. That other, pe other people's opinions don't matter at the end of the day. Like, yeah, your close friends and like your family and stuff, they're gonna have opinions and sometimes they don't always agree with you. And sometimes they don't give you the support you need. And at the end of the day, like you, you are the support that you need. Like if you don't believe in yourself and if you don't find that comfort and that feeling within, you're not gonna find it elsewhere if that makes sense. So it all really just start, does start with you. Even the most beautiful person in the world, inside and out, has has their issues, do you know what I mean? And they people struggle, like it's natural, it's natural. It's not okay, to, like it's okay to not feel okay and it's not normal to be happy all the time. Like the famous words of fucking 50 Cent. What was it? I can't fucking remember them. Joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. There you go. And it's so true. Like, how can we recognise the growth and the love we have for our journeys if we didn't have those bad times? So I think it's really important, first of all, is to forgive yourself. You need to forgive yourself for all the things that you've done in the past, all the guilt and all the bad things that you've done, because they don't matter, any matter anymore. Like, they don't. The only way you're going to move forward is if you allow yourself to accept the feelings, accept the positions that that put you in, learn your lessons and then move on. And it's difficult, like I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh it's a fucking breeze, do you know what I mean? Like I'm happy and I'm chirpy and I'm a meow meow all the time because I'm not. I'm really not. I'm sitting here in front of you with no makeup on. Really chill, just come back from my gym sesh and I'm feeling good. That's another thing actually. So for me... Like, for those of you who don't know, I suffer from anxiety. And I know that's weird, because everyone that I meet is like, you don't suffer from anxiety. And I'm like, okay, okay. You don't know me, but you're gonna tell me what I suffer from, okay. Um, we all deal with shit differently, do you know what I mean? And I'm, I've learned, like I've been to therapy and I've learned techniques and certain things to make me feel comfortable and to make sure that I'm dealing with my emotions the way that I need to. But, it's been hard like there was one point where it was just to get out of bed in the morning like I, I just lay in bed in the morning and just cry like 
I just I just couldn't bring myself to do it like and it, you feel trapped you feel trapped you feel lonely and it's honestly like the most horrible position to be in and that's all because I just felt lost within myself like I wasn't sure what I wanted and <clears throat> who I was anymore really but it was only because I was growing and I didn't understand the person that I was becoming because I was no longer the person that I was but I didn't and I knew where I wanted to be but I didn't I didn't understand and necessarily accept the process so it was like I was constantly fighting myself and it was horrible like it was literally the worst thing ever but I powered through it and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that flipping I never have down days and I'm always on top of the moon because that's that's not the case like normally when I have a down day now it hits me 10 times harder than my down days did before because obviously I've been on such a high I've been on such a high I've just been loving life I've been appreciating the people around me and ah uh, like life is good and when once you start to realize that like more blessings just come your way and it's it's lush it is such a good feeling but people need to remember you need to be kind to yourself if you're constantly sitting there and beating yourself up and putting yourself down like you start to believe those things and you might have you might feel like you are those things but they are not the only things that define you like if I sit there and I'm like I'm nasty I'm a bitch I'm bitter like yeah a part of me a part of me is those things I won't lie like I can't I can be all of those things but I'm also kind I'm caring I look after people do you know what I mean? I, I want to help people and they're the they're the positive things that I need to be putting my attention and my focus on because if they're the things that I'm focusing on, they're the things that are going to be drawn towards me and that's what I'm going to receive. So it's really important to just be kind to yourself. If you sit there and you keep telling yourself, oh, you're a fat bitch, rah, rah, all you're doing is just beating yourself down. Like you're not, you're not allowing yourself to have that <clears throat> I'm not so much a boundary but you're not allowing yourself to be open to the fact that okay like I may not I may not be the skinniest person but I want to try and be so you're just by having that initial but but what if I that is just that is what's going to set you off and that is what will what will help you progress and be where you want to be and it's like I said, it's not an easy journey. Like, nothing's easy in life. Like, come on now. We all know that. It's just important to remember that you are literally your own best friend. Like, obviously, I'm surrounded, but I'm really lucky. I have such a good support system around me. I've got friends. I've got a lot of friends that fucking stuck by me through so much shit. And they're just lush. My family's brilliant. brilliant. Like, my mum is literally ugh, a queen. My dad is the nicest guy ever. Ah, oh, like he's so cool. Brother's a bit of a twat, but like this is sibling in it. <laughs> but he's he's nah. I'm playing. He's lovely. He's a really good guy, but we we do clash. We're both really fiery characters. So when the passions get there and we disagree on something, it's like full blown war. Like it's war in my house. But it's important to recognise that the people you have around you other people people that want to be around you for one and you should feel grateful for the ones that bring you joy and bring you happiness and do support you but it's also really 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 important to not allow yourself to feel loyal to people who you don't believe are serving a purpose in your life anymore and this has been really hard for me to do because I'm quite, I wouldn't say I'm a hoarder <laughs> when it comes to people in my life, but I feel like if someone's been with me a long time, then I, I owe them my loyalty. And recently I've had to cut a few people off and it's like, it's been hard because they've literally been with me since day one, but they just weren't serving. They weren't serving what I needed from them anymore. And that sounds selfish and it sounds horrible, but if they're not providing me with the connection and the, like, the, the basically the vibes that I, I need to feel, to feel cherished and appreciated and loved then why should i why should i be trying to give you that give them them that give them those feelings do you know what i mean so instead of basically it's a two-way street it's as simple as it you know that's very much i don't know i over complicate things so much in my head it's fucking annoying but yeah it's just if you're not getting what you want from someone cut them off 
and I'm not saying like I want you to give me 100 million pounds like no like if you're not providing me with the support and the love and the care that I expect from a friend then I don't want you as my friend it's literally that simple I don't want snaky people around me I want people that love me and adore me and allow me to love and adore them so it is really important to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with the right people anyone knows when like say when you're younger and you're easily influenced by the people around you because you are because you're not sure of who you are because you're becoming who you are like do you know what i mean your mum used to always be like oh no you can't i don't really hang around with that person i don't get a good vibe from him ra -ta -ta. and it's it's true like because that their vibes will rub off on you and they'll make you feel a certain way and if you're not happy feeling that way then you need to bounce you need to go fully so a couple of things that I do to make myself feel better when I'm low is read. Oh, I love reading. I won't lie, I never used to be a big reader. I'd like, I never really got into it until I started reading um, self-help books. I won't lie. So <clears throat> reading for me is an escape. It's a way for me to look at things with a different perspective because obviously you're broadening your intelligence. Do you know what I mean? You're reading things that you... and read and trying to figure out big, uh, figure things out that you wouldn't be able to figure out by yourself it's nice to get a different person's perspective so that is a big thing for me I love to read obviously I gym people think that I gym because obviously like I want to look good and like yeah like I, looking good is is fun but <laughs> um for me if I don't go to the gym for a few days I'm miserable I'm miserable I'm moody um I have a really short temper, I'm not very nice to be around and I start beating myself up a little bit but it's only because I know that the gym makes me feel so good obviously when you work out it releases serotonin and that's like your happy hormone and the fact that I know that I'm working on myself not necessarily in like just a look good way but my health like it, oh, I just love it I literally love it like even just going for like a walk I love being around nature to be fair especially water it's like going for a walk having a swim just doing little things like that that just might seem so small but when you start like i said earlier when you start actually appreciating and being grateful for the things you have around you like everything just becomes so much more beautiful like i know i sound like a soppy little twat as well but it is so it's so true food food makes me feel good but i'm on a diet at the moment so i have to eat in moderation and that makes me sad but eating the right food, like healthy food, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised, gang. I can eat a salad and like, yeah, it won't taste that great, but it will make me feel good. Like physically feel good, not mentally. Oh, I know I've not, like, do you know what I mean? I know I've eaten a salad today, so I've, I feel healthy. But like, I actually, like my shit's better. Sorry to get into gra to graphic detail, but like my poo comes out, my poo comes out better like i just feel like i have more energy i feel more awake like when i eat like a lot of sl like slobby food like pizza i fucking love pizza like pizza <laughs> burgers and cake and stuff like yeah it feels good when i'm eating it but after i just feel like shit like it's like i just have like a sugar crash whatever it's called and i just feel like crap like it's fucking i just i just rather not do it so yeah make sure you're eating right drink a lot of water it's so important to stay hydrated, especially in these hot times right now. I don't know what's going on in the UK. I'm loving it, but I'm kind of hating it at the same time. So I'm like, oh. I just want some air and a breeze. Oh. So keeping a positive mindset is pretty much everything. And you have to train yourself to put yourself into a positive mindset. Because basically, moaning and stuff like that is actually a habit. It takes 28 days to break a habit. So if you wake up in the morning, you're, you're going to tell yourself, do you know what? Today's going to be a good day. I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to make sure I smash work. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that I have a good day today. I swear, you repeat that in the morning. It's called affirmations. You carry on repeating that in the morning and just you start to you start to genuinely believe it. And I swear to God, your days will just brighten. They will be filled with love and they'll be filled with laughter. And you'll just, you'll blossom you will blossom and obviously i'm not coming i'm not sitting here and telling you that i'm flipping some agony on i'm a bit of an agony on but like, i'm not qualified i'm just telling you what works for me 
because I the last thing I want is for people to be in a position where they feel like they can't talk to anyone or they feel trapped like I want people to be able to come to, like I have a lot of people message me like on a daily basis saying that they're struggling and I'm ha I'm so like if people think oh like they say to me like am I bugging you and I'm like you're not bugging me like I'd rather you talk to me than not talk to someone else but it's so important just to try and stay positive like one of my best friends is like this year has been the shittest year for her and it's it's been really hard she's lost her dad she's like lost her job and then the other jobs that she's applied for and like then got her falling through and every day I see her she's still got a smile on her face and it's crazy like I admire her so much she is such a strong girl like obviously she has her down days too like we all do but she's she's a diamond and she's proved that like no matter how shit things can get you can still find the beauty in things so keep positive uh, so I like to keep myself occupied um, I find that I think it's important to have downtime don't get me wrong it's important to sit there and especially if like major events have happened in your life you need to sit there and you need to reflect on how you're feeling why it's made you feel that way how you can make yourself feel better and the right ways to do that like burying yourself in drugs and alcohol is not going to solve your problems I'm sorry but it's not it's going to bury your emotions and possibly make you worse because they are depressants so if something is bothering you, you need to get to the root cause and you need to reflect on that. But you also need to make sure that you're keeping yourself occupied. You need to be doing things that you love. Like, I love to dance. And it's been killing me that I've not done a freestyle. But I've had just so much stuff happen, like, over the last few weeks. And I want to make sure that when I do it, like, it's going to be something that I'm proud of. And that's something that I adore. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. My mum cut herself in the shower. And she was just screaming at me, and I was just like, what? Do you know what I mean? Do you know your mum's overly dramatic? And she's like, ah! And it's like a tiniest little fucking car. Like, pull yourself together, Lisa. Love ya. But, um, like I was saying... I can't actually remember what, I'm, what I was saying, but I'm just going to finish it off anyway. I know I've been rambling your ears off. And this, I know... Oh, that's what I was, I was saying about dance when I... So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that my freestyles start popping off. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need to make sure that it's something that I'm going to be happy with, that I'm proud of. It needs to be better than my last one. Like, I need to up my blood clout game. And I don't feel like I've done that yet. And I'm waiting for my friend Reese because I like it when... You... So, I used to pre... The guy who done my last freestyle, the active one with gigs. Well, literally with gigs, with the gig, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Flip him. The guy who recorded it is actually one of my old dance friends that um, was in like the first dance group that I was with when I was younger. So it's Lush, I like I love vibing with him. Do you know what I mean? We chill, we have like we make a proper day of it. And uh, yeah, time's been a bit poor for me at the moment, so but like I said, positive mindset. Cash will be coming soon, don't worry about that. But yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that it's popping, so I'm um, I might I might record a little thank thank like myself but yeah anyway you'll see you'll see if i do and you'll see if i don't well you won't see if i don't but i'm just trying to show you and i but another massive thing i am going to say is be considerate of other people because you do not know i just realized that my door's open that's really bugging me you do not know what someone else is going through and that that positive energy that you're spru spruiting onto other people will come back to you 10 times better so yeah just be kind to yourself think positively be considerate of other people and cut out the negative energy that you do not want in your life and you are your own power you are in charge of your own happiness and you have the ability to be beyond amazing i hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog um obviously leave me some feedback if you didn't enjoy it then sorry about that but <clears throat> chat me there's like three million youtubers so you can watch someone else who entertain who entertains me but i do have a couple of ideas of some topics that i want to do next thanks to you beautiful people that have been inboxing me on instagram 
but I'm um, happy for you guys to drop me a message on YouTube as well. Like, I just want to get people involved. Like, as I've said in like one of my previous vlogs, I do want this to be a community where people feel like they can say what they want and not be judged. Um, do you know what I mean? Just provide some, provide some support. Do you know what I mean? Provide some like good positive vibes because people are lacking that right now. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat some food. I'm not gonna lie, I'm munching like. <laughs> I've been munching a protein way far and it's actually banging. I don't really rate like protein foods, but this is good. What you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah.